Hey YouTube, it's Blur Burn again, coming to you to add another topic, topic of discussion. I wanted to talk about parasitic relationships and parasi parasites in our environment and in our society and in our daily and social um, networks. Um, what I'm noticing is that uh, obviously parasites are something that people just equate to being like little bugs or little entities, little funguses or you know what have you that uh, live off other entities unbeknownst to them or sometimes um, with their knowledge and um, I believe we're living in a time that we are highly parasitic. <laughs> I know no one wants to talk about parasites. Um, what I'm finding is, for, especially for the people who are um, in the spiritual community, we're living pretty holistically and sound, holistically and sound. When I say sound, I mean just sane um, in the madness of the matrix and also people who are upholding the light. Uh, when I say that, I'm just saying people are, you know, living pretty much with a high level of integrity and high vibrational, um, bringing high vibrational energy to the planet and living conducively to Mother Earth um, and her assistance of the elevation and the um, ascension of her, uh, her plant, of the planet and of some of the entities that are residing on her, on her surface and in her surface and above her surface. Anyway, there's an ascension process going on. Uh, regardless if you may know that or not, it's what I know to be. Um, and what I'm finding is that as you raise in vibration, parasites can be very allured by that. And because they're not holding light themselves, they're very attracted to those who are illuminated. It's almost like, you know, moths fly at night and they always fly to the light um, because they're very attracted by it. I feel like there's a lot of parasitic behavior going on on the planet, especially with those. I mean, parasites exist on all levels. I mean, we have the archons that are parasitic, but they're actually in other realms, other dimensions. Uh, they exist on a dimension, um, you know, kind of simultaneous. Every dimension is simultaneous, but we just don't have that concept. You know, it's hard to grasp that everything is lying on top of each other. It's not like linear, like this happens and then that happens. No, everything is confounded on each other. Every time frame from past, present, and future are all happening simultaneously, um, from my understanding. And it's the same with levels of, of entities that are existing. You know, we are existing in this dimension, third dimension. We're actually in fourth right now, some of us. Um, and uh, there are entities that are existing simultaneously that are aware of us without our awareness, and they're feeding off of our energies. And these are parasites. And when, when you'll know that these entities are present is usually, you know, times in your life when things are very tough, you'll notice like there's almost like a, a pull for more negative energy to pull in. And you'll feel like if your day is going bad or something tragic has happened, you'll, you may see a confounding of, of um, a toppling over kind of thing where something bad happens and then all of a sudden more things bad happen throughout the day. And it seems to consistently go downward from there and that has to do with some of those entities on the other side who are feeding off the negativity and they also get into your if you're not healthy or you're drinking or you're a smoker and you're high indoctrinated meat eater unconscious meat eater meaning you're just eating whatever burgers <laughs> fries coca-cola you know I'm, not, I'm just saying everybody can live balanced it's not a judgment but you know if you're high if you're eating unconsciously and you're unhealthy and you're drinking, especially if you're drinking alcohol or any form of um, liquor, the, the entities on the other side are very allured by that. And they tend to almost surround, those parasites surround you and they feed off of that um, energy. That's why it's called wine and spirits. <laughs> why you think that's called that? Because those entities on the other side are very allured by that. And they tend to attach to lower vibrational people. It's a very parasitic relationship, and they feed their and feed and feed off of them, and pull their energy, and that's why those low those people are become almost like dense and lower vibrational as time goes on, and they lose their life force because they're being fed off of unbeknownst to them. Anyhow, um, we're living on so many different levels, and what I'm noticing is that parasites are just <laughs> rampant on this planet right now in this dimension, and I really want people to be mindful of the things that they do, thoughts, things 
people, places, and um, things. Uh, you have to be cautious because just like you have parasites inside of you, you have to, you know, really understand that um, parasites have been living on this planet before and they'll be living on this planet after us and they're very symbiotic and they're very cooperative. And when you're eating unhealthy, especially if there's a lot of sugar base and starch in your body, they live wonderfully in your body and they can, once they get a hold of your brain, they control your thoughts and your patterns. And all those cravings that you're having is not necessarily you, per se, you, that entity. It is what's within you that is controlling aspects of your um, mind. And once those parasites get in there, they will control your thought patterns and they will crave or create situations for you to do um, that will make them um, get whatever it is they need, whether they need you to drink more, have more sugar. And remember, alcohol is distilled sugar. So that's a form of sugar, and they love sugar. So those cravings that you're getting are very parasitic-based. It's their necessities, and they're creating those thoughts and patterns and poor behaviors that will uh, allow that you to do what is necessary to consume and to get that intake of whatever they desire. They love acid-based bodies. Um, in order for them to lay eggs and have a conducive environment, it has to be more acid in your body, which meets, you know, create when you eat a lot of meat. Ammonia is, um, as that flesh decomposes in your body, ammonia is released. And that is a wonderful uh, living area for eggs. Uh, you're a wonderful host at that point for plenty of eggs that are being gestated, you know, gestated in your body and for those babies to hatch in your body and create more communities of parasites. And I don't want to creep you out, but that's just what it is. And it's a fact. Look that up. Don't, don't believe me because I could be all kinds of crazy. Look that up. It's very important. And... As we're talking about the inside of us, we have to talk about the outside of us, and it's the same on the outside. If you're living unhealthy, if you have, uh, you know, sad, fearful, indoctrinated beliefs, you're going to collect parasitic people. And, and, if, and, and this goes for the also light workers who are not mindful um, of people. Well, what I'm finding in my life is that, you know, I generally tend to stay clear of most <laughs> entities that are, uh, you know, questionable without judgment, but uh, because I'm in a certain position, I, I see that, you know, the parasites that come in me tend to be a little more higher functioning, and I'm talking about people who are parasitic, and they're very tactful, and they're very creative, and um, they try to attach in, in, in very, you know, it's different because I'm more aware, so I'm going to get those parasites that try to attach on a higher level because they have to come at me with more, you know, oomph. <laughs> and I'm finding that it's interesting that these parasites that are coming at me are almost look like they're uh, illuminated themselves. You know, aha, tricksters. So I wanted to uh, kind of speak on that. And also say that we have to be very cautious of people we allow in our cipher. Um, though people may look a certain way and speak a certain way, you have to watch what they do. Um, parasites are very parasites can be very clever. I mean, they're very in, intellectual creatures. They've been living here for a long time, and they show up in different ways. And what I find is the parasites are attempting, because uh, you know it's hard to latch on me. I, I you know I'm kind of like bob and weave kind of girl. <laughs> What you coming at? What's your angle? Oh, nope. I don't think. Oh, <laughs> I'll kind of do that if I feel like someone is questionable and if I can't read them. And if I can't read them, I have to find out what what's their motivation to want to be in my life. Now, I'm a fun girl, obviously. <laughs> Tad bit eccentric, what you think. Um, but I, I'm really just here to assist the planet on um, an, a, a a global upgrade and really just try to live with uh, a lot of integrity and um, try to have fun while I'm doing it and illuminating others. But I find that um, some of the parasites that are attempting to come in my life are interesting. And what I wanted to let you guys know are some of the signs of parasitic behavior. Um, now, remember, we're not to ever watch and listen to what people say. What I generally do is that I can hear what you're saying and listen to you, but I generally want to see what you do. People can talk a good talk, but 
you want to see where they're walking and how they're interacting. Um, and I generally can tell a person's personality and what type of behavior they have by what they put in their mouths and their body. That's generally a good sign, you know, if they're putting hot dogs and hamburgers. Not to say that people are not good. I'm just saying for my, um, for what I'd like to have within my world, I'd like people to, you know, who are more mindful like myself. I would never ask of anyone else what I wouldn't do or bring to the table. So I, I really watch what people put in their bodies. And that's a marker. Um, also, what comes out of their mouths um, is a marker. So what they put in, what comes out is a marker, uh, meaning what they regurgitate out to the world. Also, their behavior. Now, parasites are very clever, but you can tell a parasite if they're always requiring more of you than they're offering to give. If they're always um, looking to find out what it is you're doing in your life and try to benefit off of that. That's a mark of a parasite. Parasites tend to, um, when they're around, they tend to make you feel drained. Like if you are talking to them or if you're in their presence, they have a tendency to make you feel like your energy is, you know, hampered in some way. Um, also, you have to look at what they do in their lives. Are you know, parasites are very telling, like how many good, healthy friends that they have for long periods of time, um, whether they're male or female, if they're female, um, parasites, you can usually tell if they only have the opposite sex around them. Um, that's very parasitic. You can tell, like if a girl is only hanging around mostly males, not to say that, that she's definitely a parasite, but that's a marker of a parasite because they generally don't, can't handle being in uh, the presence of those who are more on their level or uh, they feel competitive with. They want to feed off of energy that they feel that they can conquer. And especially the opposite uh, sex um, is somewhat more palatable to a parasite. So you'll see, and for males, if a male is only hanging around mostly females and that is the only friends that he has that are really close to him, that is a mark of a parasite. And women, you have to be very mindful of that because in our world, uh, Parasites, males who are parasites tend to be more prevalent with, you know, much more prevalent. You'll see a lot of males who, um, who will generally tend to feed off of females. And again, we watch what they do as opposed to what they say. A gentleman will say, well, I'm such a giving. Anytime someone promotes something to me, I always take that as something that they're trying to PR to me. So if someone says, I am such a good and giving person, they are... I always see that as if you are that, it wouldn't have to be stated. Just like if someone says, oh, I'm so beautiful and wonderful and great. If that is the case, most people generally don't say it. If they're trying to say something over and over, they're trying to convince the outer world to perceive that because that's really not what they have. That's something that they're using to mask who they tr generally truly are. Um, and parasitic people generally tend to um, have issues maintaining relationships for long periods of time. So what you'll see is they'll have somebody in their life and then they'll quickly disperse with them and never speak to them again. So always look at their past relationships. Are they close to their parents? Are they, do they have best friends? And it doesn't, you don't have to have a lot of friends, but if they have one friend that is of the same sex that they've had for a long period of time, that's generally a good sign. You don't have to have many. If they have quite a few, that's good. That means they're able to ma maintain healthy relationships. But parasites generally tend to move very solo. <laughs> and, they do and they move from host to host. So they generally just feed, disperse, and get a new host. And that is a sign of a parasite. And I just wanted to make this video to, make it, uh, to put it out there that people need to be mindful of people in their lives and also their nutrition because both will hamper your system and both will break you down and I think we don't give as much um, we don't emphasize as much how important it is to keep people in your lives that are generally of the same um, you know of, of, of the same uh, have the same likes and needs as you goals are similar and have this uh, same you know energy uh, vibration and upholding integrity. Now, if you don't uphold integrity and you're a liar, <laughs> 
and you're not very truthful and so on, then you just gonna get what you give. You know, you're gonna attract those people who are very much like you. But if you're pretty integrity based, it's just really good to keep those people in the cipher. And I'm just saying, not everybody. Now, don't get me wrong. Not I've given some examples of parasites. Please don't take this as any way. Not everybody who has this opposite sex around them is a parasite all the time. It just may mean that they may have more of that energy and they like to sit in that energy. But that's a sign of one along with the other signs. Um, and I just want to put it out there. Anybody dealing with parasitic relationships? And, and really, it's hard to get rid of parasites once, they're on, once you're on you. Um, you get used to it. You become codependent to them, them feeding off of you. You're used to feeling that energy, that low energy, and you become accustomed to it. So I want to try to tell you to try to <laughs> omit those parasites out of your life with love. Always, if you decide to um, end a parasitic relationship,